check up on my little brother. No need to worry about me, brother. You took your sweet time getting here anyways. You went and joined the Imperial Army. What are the boys back in Dubbo going to think about that? That we're all fighting for the same side? You just saw your little brother made captain and outranks you. I can still whip your ass on a horse any day and twice on Sundays. How is that racehorse anyway that you brought over with you? I had to leave Dipso in Egypt when we left for Turkey. A fellow named Grimshaw said he'd look after him, keep a close eye on him. He's from Dubbo, so he must be a pretty decent bloke, I reckon. You know I enlisted in the 6th Light Horse Regiment just so I could fight side by side with you, but you'd bug it off by the time I got there. You should have got there sooner than, eh, brother? Someone had to make sure the weir and algebra were left in good hands. You're a warrior. She'll be right. Dad was keeping a close eye on the farms. Dad's gone. You got leave to go to the funeral, remember? That's right. I hope mum isn't too mad I left. She's mighty proud. You getting the military cross for valour and all. I survived the war and then I had to go and get myself burnt alive in an accident just when peace was declared. Sure was a shame, I admit. Did I tell you we're both uncles? Can you believe it? I mean, our brother Norman was so torn up at your accident, he named his son after you. You got a nephew named Reg Jr. Couldn't ask for more than that. Lest we forget. See you soon, my brother. <laughs>